just like the ink spots, I do not want to set this world on fire. But you know what does? Nukes. Hello there everyone, welcome to my reaction to Fallout, which is a very weird thing to say. I never thought I'd get a Fallout show, but I also understand why a Fallout show makes perfect sense. It is such a great idea for a TV show, let alone a game, and I'm very excited to see how Amazon adapts this really interesting story because it's not like Halo or The Last of Us where there's like a very clear narrative. It's more so a role-playing game where you make your own story. There is a linear path you can follow, but at the end of the day, it's you, the player, who's the lone wanderer or the lone survivor. I, I think there's a lot of potential lore to explore here, especially with vaults. I do know this is canon. It takes place after Fallout 4, if I'm not mistaken, or Fallout 76. Either way, I think Fallout 76 takes place after Fallout 4, but very excited. The trailers looked phenomenal. And with all that being said, please stand by. Oh, the nostalgia. Already hitting. Already getting the vibe down, dude. Bam of that. Yo, straight out of Fallout 4, bro. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's the glitch right there. <laughs> There's no way that wasn't done on purpose. Mr. Handy. Ooh, that cool uh, oil war lore stuff. Should probably focus on doing some of this. Because if you see the mushroom cloud at the tip of your thumb, <laughs> you fucked. Oh, coop, coop, coop. Do your thumbs up. Nice. The yeah, vault void thumbs up. Not to us, all right. What day did the bombs fall? October 23rd? If it's October 23rd, they're fucked. Sugar bombs! Where's my Blamco mac and cheese at? <laughs> Grognock? Now you're going for the hills. Is it bigger than your thumb? That is so cool that they implemented that. Just give me Last of Us vibes. I feel like he's gonna lose his daughter. Oh! My favorite cowgirl. Is it your That's horrifying. Gone? That is a horrifying shot. Damn! Dude. Fallout shelter, nice. Dude, the building's collapsing. Dude, I heard that. I hear the soundtrack. Wow. That's LA. That's where I'm from. That's pretty much what it looks like on a normal basis anyways. Lucy McLean. Nice I'm pit boy. I enjoy participating Seeing live action Fallout Shelter. <laughs> which keeps me active. I also participate Agility. In the Team C. Got a full on special going on. At least one I'm not related to. And we have rules about that for a reason. Okay. So, like, question though. What's this vault's experiment? Or is this like one of the few that actually... Oh, nice. <laughs> Love that. Oh, Dude, the doors! Oh my god, it looks so good! <laughs> like one-to-one! -one. My little sugar bomb. <laughs> my little sugar bomb. Overseer? He's the overseer? Know that, Jed. Messing around oh. with cousin. It's all well and good for kids, but oh. a sustainable long term. <laughs> good talk. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Never forget your first time hearing that. Okay. Damn. <laughs> we must not get a lot of food. Uh, what is wrong with the 32s? So what's your sperm count? A vault 32. Now where can I get me some jet? Man, they must get real sick and tired of yellow and blue. This ain't Game of Thrones, man. This is Fallout. Every big moment of our lives is gonna happen right here. Oh, I think the only big moment he's looking forward to is happening right here, right now. He ready to go. Get that ass. Okie dokie. <laughs> he said okie dokie. Man, why can't it be like that in real life, bro? 
You have a bed right there! You dirty, dirty little rad roaches. Goddamn Vault 22 dwellers, bro. Ooh, what happened to that guy? Ugh. She just did the, the deed with them and... Ugh, what kind of... I don't want to know what kind of living conditions they're in now. Oh. Is Vault 32 trying to overthrow Vault 33? Ooh, he's irradiated. Oh, hell nah. Raiders. Ah, Raiders! Yeah. Fuck him up, bro. Oh, not what I meant. This was the best day of my life. Oh, now it's his worst. Oh, damn. Oh. All right, you're going to need to take some, uh, <laughs> stim packs. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The sound, too. <laughs> Imagine two over 200 years of prep get wiped away like that. Oh! The jukebox. Oh. Wow. Oh! Oh! You just got jokered. Please don't make me use force. <laughs> Yo, Jet. Please. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, how is he still chilling? Yeah, overseer. Oh, in a bucket of pickles. Oh, and it's probably stinging his cuts, too. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the last thing in his mind. Enter vault door breach. The police standby is crazy. Give me severe Fallout 4 vibes. Nice. Limp? Dude, what if we see a uh, um Liberty Prime? That would be awesome. Yeah. The goats. A T Yep. Or the TX is uh the TX V or something like that. TX1 or TX45. Or sorry, T45. Oh, it's even on the yellow stands too. Nuka Cola. I like how they followed in suit with Fallout 4, where it's like an exoskeleton essentially, not like just armor like in Fallout 3. Bruh. You serious? Guess you got nothing else to do in the apocalypse. Oh, what the? Oh my god, haunting. Yeah, get that new Coca Cola. How's your day going? <laughs> everyone else's. I love that. Ha 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 ha. Ah, better learn bats real quick. Girl, you need some Rataways. And Rat X. You need everything. Here's the beach. Let the Santa Monica Pier? Or like, is that where they're near? They totally are at... Yeah, they're right by the Santa Monica Pier! Wow. Okie dokie. Okie Oh, bro, Indiana Jones did. That's a cool reference to, uh, uh, the kid in the fridge in Fallout 4, I think. Speak. Oh, that's horrifying. I didn't do it. I did not. Dude, <laughs> they're making people in power armor look just menacing. Eden, or whatever. Eden. <laughs> nice. He went from I'm gonna die to 
I'm a knight. Or knighted to be a squire. The soundtrack is crazy. I feel like he did do it though. Oh, that is a bad ass, dude. Getting branded by the power armor. Enclave. Oh, I've don't. Escaped. Oh, not the enclave, bro. Arm our nation. The nuke? To save it. Or is it a Liberty Prime? Be cut by your sword. That's badass. The hell? That's cool. No, not dog meat. I like how it says companion. Oh, oh, he's shooting the like the junk, the junk uh, cannon or whatever it is. <laughs> Y'all really should have done this like not at nighttime. Dude, it looks the, the ghouls look so good. <laughs> I'm I'm at a loss for words. That's the weirdest circle jerk I've ever been invited to. <laughs> what the fuck? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we are uh, from the Enclave. Ah. Oh. Makes you think I'd. Hmm. Dude, that soundtrack is so dynamic. What the fuck would you know about Damn. Bro's him. Oh. The ghoul? That's hard. That's funny. They let they wanted him. They wanted to use the chicken as bait to see if he was feral, but the chicken was the only one left alive. Crawl out through the awesome. Out, baby. Zero. And this outro is pretty cool. The, Red Rocket. Dude, this is like Fallout 3 vibes with the trailer. It's so cool. Yeah, um. All I've got to say after that first episode is this is just as good of an interpretation as The Last of Us so far. This is like from the opening scene to the closing scene, just smiling. Like, I, I, I really feel like the people who made this show not just played the games, but they were passionate about this. Like, I, I don't. I don't have any complaints. The pacing was great. The acting was great, especially Maximus. Jesus Christ, his acting there. Like, I've never seen like fear expressed like that in acting. And I am extremely, extremely happy with everyone's performance here. They nailed the aesthetic of a vault. They nailed so far the aesthetic of the wasteland. And I know we haven't seen that much of it, but it just how it looks, the vibe, how they're presenting it so far, very, very cool. They nailed the soundtrack from the get-go. I, I just cannot be more happy with how it looks. And looks is great and all, don't get me wrong, but it's the story that really makes everything come together. And so far, I am extremely invested. They, Like I said, they nailed the vault aspect of it. I'm very excited to see what Lucy is gonna be doing. And I know I'm enjoying it because I remember all of their names for the most part, like the three main characters, the ghoul, um, Maximus, Lucy. I, I remember all their names and usually it takes me a bit, but I'm interested in Lucy, I'm interested in Maximus, and I'm really interested in the ghoul who is the original vault boy, um, the guy from the opening scene. So I'm very excited to see how they develop that. I was, I, I'm really, really annoyed I didn't talk about this before I started my review, but but I really wanted to talk about like who I thought the villain would be because I didn't know. Every Fallout has like a different way you could approach everything really. Your choices really affect the end of the game. So the fact that they're tying the Enclave into this is so cool because it's such a great callback to Fallout 3. And that was my first Fallout. So it was like, that's why I'm I'm sure they've been in Fallout 1 or 2, but Fallout 3 was my first Fallout. As a fan of Fallout, I, I just, I cannot be more happy with this. Amazon Prime, Bethesda did such a great job. But yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time in this review because all the episodes are out. So there's really no point in theorizing if I can just immediately watch. So I'm not going to waste your guys' time in that regard but thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in my next reaction to fallout please stand by subscribe to saying helios for some more un-freaking-believable content